Well, some of the fans making their way onto the court to celebrate with the Rams as Rhode Island has defeated Providence. They are a perfect 4 and 0 here at the Ryan Center against Providence in the history between these two programs. In many ways a celebration of basketball here in the state of Rhode Island today and plenty to celebrate in this game. Tons of great highlights. Providence had a 14 point lead at halftime 49 35 they would take a 16 point lead early on in the second half but Rhode Island really digging in defensively getting some contributions from some of their bench players like Jamal Wilson Orion Outerbridge contributing off the bench Akeem Richmond in double figures with 11 points and it's Rhode Island with a victory 86 82 the final over Providence College a come from behind victory for the Rams who now improved to five and one on the season and Providence falls to five and three on to the court now a boo standing by with the winners well as a senior Keith this has to be a huge game for you to be able to beat Providence College once again on your home court here at the Ryan Center yeah it feels good it's unbelievable the crowd was stuck into it they, they stayed in it they stayed involved and we're down the stretch in the first half and we just kept fighting that it feels real good. It feels real good right now. Well, I know you had some foul trouble in the, in, in the first half, but you yeah. came in in the second half, and you really made a difference for this team in the first 10 minutes of that of, of the second half. Yeah. Talk about what your attitude and your, what, your, what you wanted to try to accomplish coming in in the second half. Uh, I was in the locker room. I talked to uh, our coach, Randy Brooks. He told me to go out there and just stay aggressive and keep playing how you was playing in the first half. Don't worry about the foul situation, and just go out there and just play as hard as you can. And, and the, and on the offensive end and on the defensive end, so that's all, I, that's all I was thinking about, just going out there and playing as hard as I can. All right, great, great, great game. Obviously, you're very, very happy with your team. Here's a coach right here. I think who did a great job also making adjustments in the second half. What did Coach Barron say to you in the second half? He told me, go out there, don't think about nothing. Just don't think about no foul situation. Just go out there, be real aggressive on both ends of the floor, help the guy, help the bigs rebound. And that's all I wanted to go out there and do, just be real aggressive and, and, and just go out there and just play as hard as I can. All right, congratulations on the win in your senior year. I'm going to get your coach in here right now and talk to him for just one second. Coach Jim Barron. Uh, <laughs> this team really stresses you out, doesn't it? Well, you know what? It, it's been a, a really a long week for us. We went down to Davidson, then we went to Richmond, and then coming in here. And I want to thank the student body and the fans and the community really coming out. And then, you know, Cox did that documentary that they had all week. Made it a real special week. It was very professionally done. Talked about how we develop our student athletes. And this was a big win for us. And, uh, you know, I'm real proud of our kids. They did a great job. Well, I want you to comment on a couple of things that happened in that second half that were really key because you came back from a huge 14 point deficit. One, Keith Cothran and Will Martell come in the second half and make a huge contribution and really get your team started in a different direction. And also the defense and, re defense and rebounding in that second half were huge. Well, we told our guys, we, we, they, we were out rebounded by 10 rebounds the first half. And we said, whoever wins the battle to rebounding is going to have a chance to win this game. But, uh, you know, I, I just thought we got great contributions for so many guys. Martell, Orion Outerbridge, Akeem Richmond, Stevie Mejia, you know, all those guys, Jamal Wilson. Some of these guys played their best basketball today. And I think that's what it takes to beat a good team like Providence College. They're going to win a lot of games. And, you know, it, it, it's just great to have this victory. It must be a great, great, great feeling to come with this victory tonight, particularly with the disappointing loss that you had against Virginia Commonwealth. We scored 80 points, but, you know, we just didn't, we turned it over too many times. We turned them over 21, but, you know, this team has a lot of fight. It's got a lot of camaraderie and a lot of fight and a lot of togetherness. And they really, really stood tall tonight. And I couldn't be more proud. And again, I want to thank the student body. Hope they come out Tuesday against Quinnipiac. But, uh, you know, this is going to make a lot of noise from the standpoint of beating the Big East team. Well, so far, 4-0 against Providence College in the Ryan Center. Great victory for you, to, great victory for you uh, uh, today, uh, Coach Barron. We're going to kick this back to Eric Freed. All right, Abu, thanks. Jim Barron now 5-4 and four all time against Providence College, no matter what the venue is. And it's Rhode Island winning at 86 82, the final over Providence. Uh, truly an entertaining afternoon here at the Ryan Center.